Nearly two full years ago, I created an in-depth video showcasing how to use some funky workarounds to customize the default MIUI launcher. And since I've just finished reviewing both the Xiaomi 13 and the 13 Pro, I thought it was as good a time as ever to create an updated version of that video. And even though there have been many, many user complaints over that period of time, we still cannot use third-party launches and gestures at the same time with MIUI. So if you're like me and you love using gestures, well, we still need to find workarounds to make the default MIUI launcher look how we want it to. And despite the fact that my current home screen looks almost identical to that first MIUI setup video, I actually now use a few different tricks to get it to look like this. And there's also some added bits of functionality under the hood to go with. So with that said, let's dive in and get this phone set up. All right, first things first, let's get our base home screen settings correct. So we'll long press our home screen and tap on this settings icon here. Then we just wanna make sure the home screen layout is set to five by six. And then we'll uncheck this option here that says fill cells of uninstalled apps. Then we'll tap on more and make sure that our home screen is set to the with app draw mode. And while we're here, I also like to disable this app suggestions option. I also turn off this categorize apps toggle. And then we definitely need to make sure that we disable this place new apps on the home screen option. Coming back and down to this home screen setting section, I'm also gonna decrease the icon size just a bit, which is really only gonna affect our app draw icons. But then that is it for our launcher settings configurations. So let's come back home. And whilst we're still in this edit mode, we now need to start clearing everything off our home screen. So I'll select each of the icons here, then tap on remove at the top. Then I'll come out of edit mode and long press this folder icon and drag that up to the top to remove it. And then I'll long press both of my widgets here and tap to remove both of them. Finally, we need to remove the icons from our dock. So I'll long press each of them, then tap to remove. And with that done, we now have a blank home screen ready for customizing. And to get the ball rolling, I'm gonna first set up the wallpapers. Now for the past little while, I've actually been using different wallpapers depending on the time of day. And I've personally been alternating between a couple of options from my very own Horizon wallpaper pack, but there's two that I've really been enjoying lately. Firstly, this one here called Snowy Peaks, and then this one here called Hillside Evening. And then I've been using this super simple app called Darkinator to switch the wallpapers automatically whenever the system theme changes, which by the way, is also set to change automatically every night at 8 p.m. With Darkinator open, you just tap here to select your light theme wallpaper, then tap on crop. Then do the same, but with the dark theme wallpaper, and once done, you just tap on set wallpaper, then set wallpaper again, then the home screen and lock screen option, and there you go. Okay, from there, let's move on to setting up our icons. Now, in the last version of this video, I used KWGT to set them all up, which still works as an option, but it definitely takes quite a bit of time. And if you ever wanna switch up one of the apps, then that can be a pretty involved process. And so in recent times, I've actually been using an app called App Bar to achieve essentially the same thing, but in much quicker time. If you've got the app installed, all you need to do is then long press your home screen, tap on widgets, then scroll all the way to the bottom where the app bar section is. And why this is all the way down the bottom, I'll never understand. Anyway, we'll long press that and drag it to the bottom of our home screen. Then we'll tap on create new. Then we'll tap here, then on add apps. And we just then want to run through this list and select the 10 apps that we want to appear on our home screen. So for me, this is Chrome, Gmail, Maps, Messages, the phone app, the Google Play Store, Spotify, Twitter, WhatsApp, and YouTube Studio. And with all of those selected, I'll then tap on add apps to widget. But in order to have that negative space on either side of our app icons, we also need to add four instances of an app called blank icon. Again, all of the apps and assets I'm mentioning in this video are linked below, so make sure to check each of those out before starting this process. But with blank icon installed, we'll tap on add apps again, then select this invisible option up the top here and tap on add apps to widget. Then again, add app, tap the invisible option at the top and again, add apps to widget. We'll do that a third time, tap on add apps to widget. And then one more time, select the top invisible option, tap on add apps to widget. And there we go. 
Now we need to simply long press each of our icons to reorder them however we like, but the key is to make sure that there is one instance of the black icon app at the start, then five regular icons, then two instances of the blank icon app, then your remaining five app icons, and then the last blank icon app at the end. With that done, we'll tap on save apps, and now we can start customizing the look of the icons. So we're first gonna increase this widget columns option here to seven, then I'm gonna tap on the icon pack option here and change this to the drops icon pack, which by the way, is no longer available on the Google Play Store, but you can still download it via APK Pure. So I'll link to that below. But with that selected, and if we tap up here, you'll notice that not every icon will be themed. And that's just due to a lack of supported icons. So to fix this, I'll tap on the phone icon here, then tap on edit icon, come down and select the drops icon pack again, start searching for phone and select this purple icon option that shows up. I'll tap the tick icon, then tap on the YouTube studio icon and tap on edit. Then this time I'm gonna select this icon here, which is actually from the Delta icon pack. I'll resize it down to 44% to match the other icons. But with that done, I'll tap the tick icon, then tap save apps. Then I'm gonna come down here and enable this option to hide all of the app labels. And then finally, I'm also gonna enable this experimental show notification badges option down here, but keep in mind that this doesn't always work. With all of those settings configured, I can now tap on place on home screen. Then I simply need to long press and move this widget slightly to get the bounding box to show up. And then I'm just gonna resize it and reposition it like this. And there we go, our icon layout is complete. And what's great is that you can save backup files of your various icon layouts within App Bar so that you can quickly transfer them over to new phones if need be. Plus, as I said, once that initial setup process is complete, it's super easy to come back into App Bar and modify any icons that you like. Oh, and for those curious about the animations, well, here's a quick little preview. Not quite as buttery as the default animations, but still very smooth. And more importantly, because we're still using the stock launcher, there is no impact on how navigation gestures perform. Okay, so the last thing to set up now is the weather widget. Now, this is actually the same widget I showcased in the last video, but I have updated some of the settings ever so slightly, essentially to make it so that the text color automatically changes depending on whether the system light or dark theme is activated, and also so that I can quickly change the font color if ever I want to. So to set this up, we're gonna long press our home screen, tap on widgets, and then scroll down to the KWGT section. I'll just drag this four by one widget to my home screen, then long press it and move it slightly so that I can resize it like so. Then I'll tap on that, come up here and search for the word three, then select this option from the Waffle KWGT pack. Now, before we adjust anything else, I'm gonna first come over to the globals tab, then tap the plus icon up here, give it the title C1, then tap okay. Then I'll tap here, set the color to white and then hit apply. Then I'll tap the plus icon again, and this time give it the title C2, and again, hit OK. I'll tap that option now, and this time I'm gonna select this color option here, which by the way, has the hex code FF435458. I'll hit apply, and now come back to this items tab to start editing this widget properly. So we'll tap on this first stack group here, then we'll select this top stack group and delete it. Then we'll tap on the remaining overlap group, select the top two shape layers here and delete both of them. We'll then swipe over to the layer page and we'll set the scale here to 75. Although you may need to adjust this setting depending on the version of MIUI that you're using and potentially even depending on the size of the phone you're using. But I'm then gonna come over to the position tab and set the top padding here to as low as the widget can go without cutting anything off. Then I'm gonna come back to this items tab and open this stack group, then this top stack group, then this top text layer, and then come over to the paint tab. Then I'm gonna tap this checkbox here and select this formula icon up here. Then I'll tap the color code here and paste in the following formula, which I will also have copied down in the description below. Then I'll tap the tick icon, come back, and then tap to open this bottom stack group. I'll open this top text layer, then come over to the paint tab and select this checkbox here, then tap the formula icon up here, then tap the color code, and again, paste that same formula in that we used previously. We'll tap the tick icon again and come back, then open this bottom text layer, come over to the paint tab, 
tap the checkbox, then the formula icon, then again, tap the color code here and paste in the formula. And for those wondering, this formula is basically saying that if the dark mode is active, then set the color to the global option called C1, but if not, set it to the global option called C2. All right, we'll tap that tick icon again. And then the final thing to do is come back all the way to this first page here, then come over to the touch panel, select this touch action here and delete it. Then we'll come back to the items tab, open this stack group, then come over to the touch panel and tap the plus icon. We'll tap here, then here again. And from here, we'll select the action launch app. Then I'll tap here and scroll down to the frog weather shortcut application. But you can of course choose your own weather app or really any app that you like. But with that done, I'm gonna tap on save, come back home. And there is our completed widget, which opens up my weather application of choice when I tap on it. And with that done, our home screen setup is finally complete. And so there you have it, a pretty sleek, automatic theme changing home screen setup, all using the default MIUI launcher. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.